We have three Visa gift cards to give away and a donation to give to an LGBTQ charity, which you get to help me choose. So keep watching. Hey, it's Josh. And Heath. And I am back for another video on my couch, but this time I did bring along my fiance and we do have a different couch and hopefully we'll be getting married soon. You know, we've been trying, but this COVID has had other plans. 2021. So to bring you up to speed, we were planning to get married and have a destination wedding this year in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We finally found a destination that we both liked and it turned out that they did not like us they did not want to host a gay couple for a wedding. I made a video about that. It kind of went a bit crazy in the news and everything. And luckily the Hilton in Puerto Vallarta came to our rescue to give us the wedding of our dreams yeah. later in the year, along with Vakaya for a honeymoon shortly after that. Mm -hmm. And Air Canada Vacations was gonna get us there and back. So everything was looking great. And then the pandemic hit. And so we had to postpone the wedding, <laughs> which we pushed from April 2020 to October 2020, then pushed again now to April 2021. Yeah. We're not even sure about that anymore. But whenever it happens, we are definitely still planning on getting married at some point when we can have all of our friends and family from around the world come together. We still really want to go to Puerto Vallarta. And in the meantime, we've been getting some advice from other couples that we know on how to have a happy relationship that lasts through thick and thin, through pandemic where we're stuck together all the time to normal times where we're not. And so I thought I'd get a bit more advice and share it with you by calling two very important influential couples in my life. We're gonna start with my parents. Hi, Mom and Dad, how Hi. are you? Good, Hi, good. Josh. Hi, Heath. We're good. Hi. So, um, I thought we would hit you up for some more advice on a long-lasting, happy relationship because you've been together for 45 years, so I know you know Impressive. a thing or two. Yeah. So, one thing I know that you two have always done is had a joint account and paid for a lot of your things out of that, kind of pooling your money together. Is that something that you'd recommend we do? Well, I think it's a personal thing. It's, you know, for us, it was kind of more traditional for our generation, but it worked really well in our case. I looked after the finances. They all came out of one account. So it worked for us. So I would suggest you go to a financial institution and talk about, you know, maybe they can tell you what they think would work for your situation. Okay. And uh, what else do you think is important for us to consider or think about for a, a good long lasting relationship? Okay, communication is the, uh, the number one thing that uh, you both understand where you're coming from, but you both understand that you have differences and uh, you have desires that are maybe different, but you can still come together and uh, work things out, you talk it out and you share things a, a lot. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing, communication and trust. And, uh, you know, people can have their ups and downs. Uh, sometimes one person is moody, doesn't realize that they're insulting or bothering somebody else. And then you have to uh, work it out. You have to apologize once in a while. It's not the same person is right all the time. That's very important, I think. Okay, so we have to have the hard conversations about our finances and we have to make sure we're communicating about that and everything else in our lives. That's yeah. right, your partners and everything. That's right. Well, thank you very much for thank the you. advice and uh, hopefully we will be having a wedding sooner than later. I really hope so. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, you both have really nice smiles and nice white teeth. That's kind of neat. <laughs> Mum and I don't have the same kind of smiles I as you guys. I do so. Well, our advice is to find a good dentist. <laughs> I hope things are, are, are good for the Mexico thing here, but I'm sure, sure getting a little more leery as things go on. Even though they're having some vaccines, it looks like it's going to be really quite long before we get down to your level. Yeah, yeah. well, um, we might have to postpone the wedding yet a third time, but you know what they say, third time's the charm. That's right, they do say that, so maybe it's not so bad. <laughs> yeah. I still want it to happen in April. Yeah, we'd like it to because... Then our uh, airline tickets expire too. Yeah. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, we'll we'll get on that vaccine. <laughs> That's yeah. important. Yeah. Take care. All right. All right. Love you. Love you Bye. too. 
Well, good communication and figuring out our finances is very good advice, I think. And of course, the last part ties in perfectly to this video's sponsor, Coast Capital Savings. We've decided to partner with them because they are a local credit union that we feel like we can trust. They really believe in social responsibility and charitable giving. So those things are important to us. And uh, we've got some more coming up about them and how they're giving three Visa gift cards for me to give away and a donation to an LGBT charity. But first, we need to get on the phone with my best friend Mary and her husband Jake to get some advice from a couple of our generation. Yeah. Hi Mary and Jake. Hi guys. Hi guys. We wanted to come to you for some advice for a long lasting happy relationship because you two have been together for over 20 years now. 22 Crazy. years. That's right. Yeah. So when we started talking to my parents, we were talking to them about how they have a joint account and they've always combined their money and paid for everything out of that. I know you two have always had separate accounts. So is that what you would recommend we do? I, I think it depends on the couple. I mean, I, I know it works for us. We, we never had joint accounts. We've always just kind of like divided the expenses and come in the middle. I think each couple's uh, gonna have differences in the way they approach things. And uh, it's just working it out and finding a solution that works for you. Um, we, he doesn't we need to know how much money I spend on shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's nice that you can spend your own money. And I think it may in some circumstances uh, reduce the conflict that sometimes happens between couples. All right, well, that's some good food for thought. Thank yeah. you. And we've got a financial institution that we trust that we're going to speak to further about it too. But beyond finances, what do you think is really key to consider moving forward for a long lasting, happy relationship? I want me to Never go to bed angry. Yeah, always try to resolve whatever you have in terms of if there's a difference or a, I wouldn't call it a fight, but an argument over something or a, a difference of opinion. Try to resolve it within that day. That makes life a lot easier. And of course we love each other. I'm crazy about this guy, but at the end of the day, we're really good buddies. We're really good friends. Jake and I are a team. Okay, well, thank you very much for your advice. Uh, hopefully we'll hit 22 years in no time. First things first, we've got to actually get married. Yeah, we're really looking forward to that. Yes. Dylan is yeah. really looking forward to the, to the cake. Yeah, we're looking forward to having our little ring bearer. Oh, oh, yeah. All right, well, take care in the meantime. Okay, so nice seeing you guys. Take care. Thank okay, you. Bye. Bye. Well, more great tips, and it's interesting how they both have very different financial situations, but have figured out what works for them. And we are excited to figure out our plan moving forward with someone from Coast Capital Savings. Mm -hmm. We're happy to partner with them because their values really align with our own, and they definitely are going to have our best interest at heart. And they're going to figure out a plan for us at every stage along the way of our relationship. And so Coast Capital Savings is going to help us build our next steps together, and they've been member-owned for over 80 years, and they have decided that they want to give you a $100 Visa gift card to put toward your next big life event. And we've actually got three of them to give away. So all you have to do to be entered to win one is leave a comment below this video. I'm going to put this video on my YouTube channel, on my Instagram profile, and on my Facebook page. And so you can enter at each spot if you want because I've got a $100 Visa gift card to give away at each one. So leave a comment and you can put it toward your next big life event. They also want to donate $200 to one of the local LGBTQ charities that I was supporting during my reign as Mr. Gay Canada 2019. So I need your help to decide which one. You can choose between the Dr. Peter AIDS Foundation, A Loving Spoonful, The Loud Foundation, Out in Schools, and Rainbow Refugee. Just let me know which one you think the $200 should go to in the comments down below and I'll tally it all up and whichever one gets the most amount of comments, they're gonna get that donation. So thank you to my mom and dad and to Mary and Jake for their advice on a long lasting happy relationship. And thank you to Coast Capital Savings for the three Visa gift cards to give away and the donation to the LGBTQ charity and for being there for us so we can get some financial advice to plan for our future together. Get in touch with them too if you want some financial advice and subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. Bye. Bye.